Hey everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. And I saw Solemn tweeted out the other day, or earlier today, whatever you want to call it, the all legendary tier list where he compiled every legendary in Hearthstone history and made it into a tier list and ranked it. And he said, well, my opinion is right and nothing can change that. You're wrong if you disagree. So we made our own tier list on stream today. I basically tried to speed run it, go as fast as possible, because there are a lot of legendaries in the game. So I just thought I'd share my tier list with you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you disagree, agree with any of them. There's a lot to disagree or disagree with, but like Solemn said, I'm correct, you're wrong, and he's wrong as well. Hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please like and subscribe. Been getting lots of subs lately. We're getting close to 4K, so make sure you sub if you haven't. Have a great day, and stay salty, my friends. You guys ready? By usage, just by power level. We'll just go with, like, how good they were. Right? He's got it, like, god tier underpowered trash. Alright, so. In case this goes to YouTube. Let's do. Every, let's rank every single legendary on this tier list throughout the history of Hearthstone as quickly as possible. Because there's a lot. Alright, Ronin. Absolute trash. 8 mana 7-7 seven, seven, gate arcane missiles. Was never good enough. Confessor Paltris. Um, trash. 7 mana 5-4. You hero power, you get a random legendary. Garbage. Uh, Fizzlebang, whatever. Wilfred Fizzlebang. Pro one of the arguably the worst legendaries ever. Absolute trash. Inubarak was alright. Too slow in almost every deck. Or, would be okay in a lot of decks, but in Rogue, you could tech it in, get it randomly, beat up a control warrior. Aviana was god tier. Now she's very good. At 9 mana god tier with Kuhn. Now, just good can do some cool stuff. The Mistcaller, absolute trash. Have you seen Prince Keleseth? Omega Wall, Acid Maw, um, do I need to say more? It's a seven mana four two, probably kill off your own stuff. In Hunter, absolute trash. We got Dread Scale, he was all right. It's a three mana four two with a constant AOE. He saw some play, he was all right, not bad. Uh, was it Sky, Je Sky Captain Crag? He is alright. He sees some play in Pirate Warrior here and there. And right now, you know, he's alright. So we gotta give him that. Um, Varian Rin Var was... I'll go underpowered. He saw a little bit of play in some, like, slower Warrior decks. But overall, you kind of fatigued yourself and wasn't great. Uh, Eadric the Pure, alright. Um, way worse than, like, Tarim, but not too bad. Setting your opponent's... Uh, attack to one was quite powerful and saw some play in some mid-range decks. Uh, Gormok the Impaler was actually very good at the time in like the Zooish decks. He saw a lot of play in decks that went wide and was pretty good with Bran. Chilma was alright. 7 mana 6-6 six, six Dragon with Taunt. Death Rattle deal 3 damage to, you know. I, I remember, I think it was like in Dragon Precept, saw a bit of play. You could discover it. It wasn't terrible. Not bad. Both Omega Lol, absolute trash. Ice Howl, absolute trash. Nexus Champion Sarad was alright. It was like a value card. Saw some play. You inspire. You get a random minion. It was okay. Skeleton Knight, trash. Why are you running a 6 mana 7 4 that you have to pay mana to replay it? The worst type of value. Plus, you had to win a Joust. Absolute garbage. Um, both of the. Uh, of the Soul Bane or Dragon Bane or whatever. I can't read it. It's two small girls. I'll go with All Right. There were three mana three fours with upside. They saw limited play. Not very good, but All Right. Justicar for its time was very good. You could get an upgraded hero power, which was very strong in Warrior, Paladin, and Priest. Now, not so good, but I'll give it a very good. Saw its time. Baron, underpowered. I'll give it. It saw a tiny bit of play in like really greedy Death Rattle decks, but overall, trash. Bolvar, trash. It's a good BG card, but that's about it. Uh, Boommaster Flark was all right. He saw a play in like Mech Hunter decks. He saw a play in Quest Hunter. But overall, pretty limited play. Not that great. I'll go Boomship as underpowered, literally because it saw a play in Mechathune Warrior. And it made that deck work, and it wasn't the worst deck ever. Stargazer Luna is a god tier legendary. It sees play in so many different mage decks. You can draw your deck in, like, Quest Mage, Pocket Galaxy Mage, Secret Mage. Absolute god tier card. Fantastic. Crystal Smith Kangor, alright. Good in, like, like the combo Shervala deck. 
Uh, could be okay in like an even paladin deck. I'll give it an all right. Decent effect. Boom. God tier for a long period of time in standard. And decent and wild. Gotta give him the god tier f flow. He got me rank one legend. Come on. We got Myra's was very good in like odd rogue, pogo rogue, stuff like that. Getting played like a miracle style where you just go know me. Very good card. Very powerful. Myra. Absolute dog crap. Five mana four two. Get a random death rattle and then put it in your hand. Too slow. Trash. Stormbringer, really good in like the Discover Shaman, Even Shaman. Random legendaries can be really powerful. Well, we've been playing this a lot. Luna's Pocket Galaxy. God tier. And it was five mana for a little bit. Think about that. And it's still God tier at seven mana. So that's terrifying. I is this Zarek? Is Zarek the trash trash tier priest legendary? It's a 5-5 five, five that you could keep getting back if you cast spells on it. Way too slow. Electra was very good. Um, in More in standard. Double your battle cry is very good. And I got it randomly in Quest Mage one time, which let me not need Vargoth. That was pretty sick. Uh, Mechathun. Very good. Enables a lot of Mechathun decks. Uh, just win the game. I won't give it God tier because there's just not enough. You have like Mechathun Druid. You had Mechathune Priest and Mechathune Warlock is kind of the main ones. Only Warlock has really survived. And yeah, really good, but not quite. What the hell is Boom Master's Flark or this whatever, this thing? Why is it a card? Absolute dog crap. Morrigan, trash, unbelievably bad. Uh, Floop, very good. Get a copy of another minion with Staple and like Mally Druid. You could play it in Quest Druid. It was insane there. Get Surgers. Another Ysera. Really, really good card. Borderline God Tier. So I'll put it right here. Uh, Floop's Glorious Gloop. Also very good. Um, really good with like Poison Seeds. Any clear. It enabled certain combo decks. Super strong. Ziliax. Do I need to say more? It's a God Tier Legendary. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Harbringer Celestia. Why am I running a 4 Mandamere Entity? I don't know. Uh, Cloning Gallery. Uh, very good. Uh, all right. It was very good for a while, but only in, like one meta and never in wild. So we're going to put it as an all right card. It was really good in the, like the gallery priest it was insane, but outside of that, not so great. Uh, Solarium, very good card in zoo, Mechathune Warlock, a lot of decks like that. Um, Disco Lock, super versatile card. Turns out drawing three cards for one mana with discard synergies is really good. Subject 9, alright. Really good in certain secret decks, particularly Secret Hunter. Super solid card. Not spectacular, but alright. I'm going to give Snip Snap the god tier status. Might look underwhelming at, at first, but it's a 3 mana 4 5 with Magnetic, with uh, Echo. It enabled one of the most broken decks in Wild History in Snip Snap Warlock. We're going to give it a god tier status. Uh, Kangor's Endless Army was... I'll go with Underpowered. It saw limited play in certain mech decks, but those decks were never that good. And overall, eh, not that great. Um, we'll go Underpowered for Whizbang, simply because I don't want to call him Trash Tier, because people love Whizbang, and I can appreciate that. Bran is a God Tier Legendary. He's seen play since he's been introduced. Double the Battle Cry, super solid card. Can go in so many decks, it's unbelievable. Major Domo. Trash tier, but an absolutely lovable meme. Emperor Thorson, god tier combo enabler. He's allowed so many decks to do different things. Discounting your hand is pretty amazing. And uh, yeah, god tier card. Uh, what is this called? Black hand? I don't know what the first name is, but he did see a tiny bit of play. He did see a little bit of play in killing like Dr. Blue Boom and stuff. I don't know what Dr. Bloom is, but Dr. Boom and things like that. He was okay. But I'll give him an underpowered. He saw a tiny bit of play. Just like Nefarian saw a little bit of play for some value in some greed decks. But eventually a 9 mana 8 8 get 2 spells just wasn't good enough. Chromagus, trash tier, greed card that I literally don't think ever saw competitive play. Evocation is god tier. Literally just for quest mage, how broken it makes that deck. And I'm going to stick to that. Mergurgle is alright. Decent little mid-range value in Paladin. Paladin sucks right now in standard. But he sees play in wild and isn't too bad. Soulmaster Solarian is absolutely nuts um, in Mage. And it sees play in Standard and Wild. Auto included in a lot of decks. Super crazy card. And the golden artwork is god tier as well. 
Lady Bashages is, seems to be trashed here. I've literally never seen it played, so we'll go with that. Um, we got Kit. We got Kargath Bladefist. He's all right. Pretty good Warrior Prime. Not amazing. Not crazy, but pretty good. We'll put him there. Uh, Terran Gorfine. I'll also put his all right. See, he's like playing like Egg Warrior, some like Q Block decks, some stuff like that in Wild. But overall, not too overpowered. He's all right. Yassel, I'll go with underpowered. Some people run it instead of Kelseth. They're just wrong. Yassel's cool, but Kelseth kind of negates it. We have Mishfin Prime for Druid. Um, pretty underpowered. It's just, there's no real support. Quest Druid's not good enough. Quest Druid was good enough. This card would probably be better. Uh, Kane, God Tier. It's a 4-mana 3-5. Ignore Taunts. Stats are great. You can just play it on Curve. It feels great. And yeah, it can get through Taunt. Uh, we have the secret secret guy. I can't remember the name. He triggers me. Very good rogue legendary. At a 1-5, probably god tier. But as a 1-4, slightly more vulnerable. And rogue kind of sucks. Hanar. There we go. We got Hanar. Uh, we have the garbage Godfrey. I'll put his all right. He's still a siphon soul, like execute for th 6 mana for 3-3, three, three, which isn't bad. And he can be a death wing for 6 mana, which is insane. So I'll go all right. So he's playing like quest. Quest Warlock. The Priest Prime, underpowered. Not terrible, but too slow. Um, pretty good to get randomly, though. Gotta say. Soul Mirror, very good. Insane in, in standard. Doesn't make the cut really in wild for the most part, because you don't want to res it and stuff like that. It's a bit too slow. But very good. Legendary AoE. And you can kind of, like, manipulate it and stuff. I kind of like that. Uh, the Prime is an insanely good Druid card. The Hunter Prime. Um, pretty good in, war in Hunter, too. But overall, you get it in Druid, it's really good. You get it for zero mana as well. Uh, I don't know what this guy is called. He's the 8 mana 5-5 five five, uh, get random beast for Hunter out of your hand. And yeah, I don't remember the name. It can't be that good. We'll go trash tier. The Lurker Below is actually very good. Shaman just sucks. But Lurker Below is a very, very good card. 6 mana 6-5. Six like can be a big AoE. And with Quest Shaman, it can be really good in Wild too. Kael'thas, busted card. I mean, enables a ton in wild, enables a ton in standard. Um, he's going to be nerfed again at some point, or they're just never going to make cheap spells ever again. Who knows? I mean, not making cheap spells ever again wouldn't be a terrible thing. Warlock Prime is very good. Can be good in Zoo. Can be good in Disco Lock. Can be good in Cube Lock. Lots of good utilizations of it. Getting Demons back, pretty strong. Lady Liadrin's all right. Um, the, that Paladin deck kind of sucks, Libran Paladin, but it's going to get better. And she's one of the only good parts about it. Metamorphosis is a 7 mana Pyroblast. It's broken. Definitely god tier. Netherindomus would be god tier in almost every class. But because it's a demon hunter and it costs 9 mana, it's too slow. I'm still going to give it an alright. Because the card is absolutely insane. Just doesn't see play. Um, Akuma, I think it's called. The Rogue Prime is alright. 3 mana, 3, 4 stealth alright. The Prime just sucks, so... Yikes, Alar, lol, trash tier. Maev, um, I think it's alright. Yes, it doesn't see much play right now, but we're in a very hyper aggro token based meta. And once there's like big targets to hit, I think it'll be better. So I'm gonna give it all right. Uh Bulwark of Azanoth or whatever it's called, the legendary legendary uh warrior weapon that just kills one ones. Terrible. Magthrodon. He's alright. You see some play in some kind of fringe decks. He can be a clear. He can be a 4-mana 12-12. Not too bad. Uh, we have Alturus, God Tier Legendary. It's been slightly hurt by the Twin Slice nerf. So it might be very good. But for now, I'm going to keep it as a God Tier Legendary. Raza's God Tier in conjunction with Anduin. Zero mana's busted. Uh, we got Kuhn is a very good Legendary with alongside Aviana. Used to be, it would be God tier if Aviana was 9, but with that 10, it just doesn't combo as easily. White Eyes, um, underpowered, never really quite good enough, but I won't give White Eyes a 5-5 five, five taunt into a 10-10 ten, ten taunt trash. Knuckles, trash, but Dewan's done some solid memes, so I'll give him that. Sergeant Sally, trash. Finja, very good. Very good in a lot of Murloc decks. They're not quite powerful enough in Wild anymore, but he saw a ton of play back in the day. Kazakus is a god tier legendary. Absolutely fantastically strong in all. Like, you're playing a Highlander deck, 
in wild or when it was in standard you put it there if you could patches god tier even without charge he's in every pirate deck and will continue to be in every pirate deck and then remember he had charge we have this guy that buffed your weapons trash tier mayor trash tier but god tier memes goya trash tier we have uh don honcho trash tier ink master solia underpowered saw a little bit of play but overall bad same with cruel shaku is all right get a random card in rogue uh Rathion, trash tier, six mana, four, five, draw a card, most likely. Beardo's all right. He would enable certain combo cards, specifically the Paladin OTK. Genzo the Shark, all right in certain aggro decks before every aggro deck had unlimited card draw. Uh, we have, what is this guy's name? Whistle, something Whistle. Three mana, two, two, lifesteal. He was all right in Paladin. I didn't think he was too bad. He saw playing my Murloc Pally. I liked it. I uh, was very good, but it's been power creeped out of the game. All right card. Sick, crazy to think. Um, Blastmaster Boom. Very good in Bomb Warrior. In Standard. And I think in Wild can be okay. Uh, whatever this card's called. The guy that summons a copy from your deck is Trash Tier. Lucent Bark. Underpowered. Soft Fringe Play. Oblivitron. Obliterates the Trash Tier. Uh, this guy gave you a spell damage weapon. Pretty underpowered. But saw a little bit of play in like an OTK Hunter deck. High Spare and Togwoggle is a god tier row card. Zero mana cards are really good. Uh, Rafam, trash tier. I don't know why people ever ran him in Zoo. Hagatha was kind of underpowered. Seven mana, five, five. Get a five, five that casts Shaman Spells. Shaman Spells suck. Garb. Barista is all right. Just a good greed card. Nothing more than that. Sam Nomi was pretty good for a while, but all right now. Too slow, but did some good. Vargoth is a god tier card, whether it being like Big Priest Oaken Summons and Druid. It's just enabled so many stupid things. Um, Commander Risa, the Paladin Secret card. Just trash tier. I've literally never seen it see play. Nazari, trash tier. Tin Man Arena, yikes. Um, Beltrug, underpowered, just too slow. I see some people run it in like greedy, greedy like Warlock decks, but yikes. Caligos. Very good mage card, borderline god tier, insane effect. This rogue card shuffles things into your deck and you get one mana, awful. Katrina, very good res card for priest. We got Scargill, is okay. Murloc and Pal and Shaman, just doesn't see much play right now. Lazul, okay, alright. It's like Greed and Galakron priest. Uh, this is like, can give you double choose one cards and Druid, Staldris. All right, nothing crazy. Alisiana, um, I'm going to go underpowered because the nerf and fatigue doesn't matter in Hearthstone anymore. Borderline trashed here. Geppetto, very good. Enables a lot of combo cards, combo decks. Cheating Man is good. Zale, what the hell is that? Ankar, god tier. Draw your whole deck as an aggro deck. You can put it into like a risky skipper mid-range deck. God tier card, and it's been nerfed. Deathwing, very good. AoE, plus an insane body. Wax of Dread, underpowered, whatever. Flick, god tier road card. I mean, it's just insane. Dragon Queen, um, one of the most powerful cards ever made. God tier. Murazond, uh, it's alright, pretty good in Priest. I'll go very good. It's on the lines of Deathwing, where it can just do broken stuff. We have Shuma. It got a, it got, it got a tattoo on Dexter's leg. We'll go underpowered. Varanus, very good hunter card. Quality on a 7-6. Bonder Smosh, underpowered, but can do some broken stuff. Pretty crazy. Kronks, god tier card. Every Galakron deck runs it, it's insane. Shenbala is an alright card in like Tempo Mage. We have the, the Sprint for 7 mana for Warlock. He's alright. We have Zol Z whatever this 4-12 that gives you a 6-6. Six -six. Too slow, underpowered. Nithog. I've never seen it played intentionally. A 3-3 that buffs your dragons. Never seen it played intentionally. Dragon's Bane. Really good dragon uh, hunter card. It does 5 damage randomly. We have Frizz. It's okay. Sees play in some dragon decks. Malagos is very good in Mage. Mind Flayer Kishar Shvarj. Really good in Priest. Nazdarmo. Lol. Uh, this Treant guy was alright. Ysera is... Oh, 
Honestly, god tier druid card. Insane. Uh, we got Sathravar. He's alright in like one deck, so I'll give him underpowered. The Galakrons. Uh, we have the Warlock one. Very, very good, just doesn't see a lot of play right now. Rogues is god tier. Shamans was god tier. Now he's like, alright. He's been nerfed too much. The Shaman one, or the Warrior one, is is alright. He was very good, but now he's alright. The Priest one's very good. Even see some play in wild. The Black Knight, all right tech card. Blood Mage, all right value card. Actually, Black Knight's underpowered. What am I talking about? Mukla. Um, in aggro decks, a little bit there. Sylvanas, very good card. Doesn't see a lot of play now, but it's Sylvanas. Tink Master, was a tech card, especially in the Hadronox days. Warwalker Cho, I'll give it underpowered just for the Cho show. Cairn, been power creep by a common. It's trash. This guy... He makes my shit turn into chickens. He's trash. Leroy, the ultimate aggro charger. God tier legendary. We're not even halfway through, I don't think. Brightwing. Um, even though Kazakus loves it, or Zephyrus loves it, it's trash. Have you ever seen someone play this card? I don't think so. Natalie. It's okay, but only in like a Highlander deck. Baron Geddon. He could slay some tokens. It wasn't bad. Ragnaros. I'm giving him a god tier. He's still rad. Too slow, but I don't care. Um, underpowered Jaraxxus. He needs more health. He's too vulnerable. Velen. He was alright. Saw playing like Velen deck. Still sees playing some Reno lists. He's alright. Tyrion. Too slow for Paladin since Paladin's is aggro. But you gotta give... You still gotta give him very good. As a legendary, still comparable even against the power creep. Same with Grom. Holds up today. He goes face. Crush. Too slow, but alright. Peggle. Trash tier. Saw a little bit of play way back in the day, but he's trash now. Harrison's an alright tech card for removal. We got Antonidas, who goes up and down. We'll give him an alright. Right now, nothing really supporting him in standard. And in wild, Exodium H2 slow. Nas, get this garbage out of here. Alex Straza, one of the god tier legendaries. Enables so many different decks. How can you not? Anixia, underpowered. Just not good enough. Malagos is another god tier legendary. Enables tons of combos. Insanely good. Ysera. Alright. It used to be the ultimate greed card. Now you just want to get it for zero mana or get it from a lackey. Scenarius. Alright in Quest Druid. Quest Druid just kind of sucks. Edwin has been in every rogue deck ever. It's god tier and nobody can say otherwise. Xavius. Also known as Illidan. Trash tier. I don't think I've ever seen it in a deck. Thor Reaper. Trash tier. Pick it in BGs. It's alright. Keltuzad. Very greedy, but saw some play in some greedy decks. So we'll give it that. Stalag, Fugin, Trash Tier, Solid Memes, Lotheb, God Tier, Disruption Card, Super Good, Emerus, Trash. Get it randomly. Camellios, Trash. Always been bad. People thought that'd be good. I called it Trash from day one. I'm amazing. Gunspire, Trash, but I love the combo. Azelina, all right, because of the combos it enables. Hagatha, pretty underpowered. Wasn't that good. Was for a little bit. Random spiel, spells, but yeah. Crowley. Alright card. Kind of got power creeped. We'll go with underpowered. Toki. Trash, but solid memes. Countess Ashmore. Thought it'd be good. Never really worked out. Tess. Underpowered, but fun. Glinda. Only was really good with mecha, uh, with Snip Snap, so we'll go with underpowered. Next, we go with Dullmaster Dorian. It enables some stuff, like Mechathune. Some other janky stuff. So we'll go with All Right. Howmaster Shaw was really good before every card said Rush on it. So we'll go with Underpowered. Why give every minion Rush when they already have Rush? Splintergraft. Oh my god, why was that made? Uh, getting random legendaries for 2-2 two is terrible. Uh, this was a decent greed card in like some mage decks, but Underpowered overall. This is a god tier legendary. Gen. I mean, even Shaman, even decks still exist today. You can't not ever put that anywhere else we have prince liam trash tier dustfall and aviana absolute trash tier glass knight soft fringe play i'll go underpowered we're gonna go shutterwalk very good just below god tier not quite good enough godfrey is a very good legendary for go warlock can clear the board insane stuff baku god tier one of the most powerful cards ever made lady in white trash tier Flame Leviathan, Trash Tier, uh, Vol'jin was alright, saw some play. 
Prince Gollywix trashed here. Malorn trashed here. Neptulon was all right. Gave you some value. We got... What is that? Godzilla trashed here. Iron Juggernaut. You could bomb people. It was all right. Um, this was the first ever legendary I opened up. Bolvar. Can't go much worse than that. Thank you for the follow. OG Dr. Boom. I'm giving God tier for his reign of terror. We got to go with that. We got Mimeron's head. It's underpowered, but enabled some cool memes. We got Mo... What is this? Mogar? I don't even know what that's called. It it's random. Bad. Sneeds. Uh, underpowered. Soft fringe play. Toshly. Underpowered. Soft fringe play. This card's terrible. Random leopard nodes. Yikes. Glasgow. Why would you run that card? Uh, yeah, this card is definitely no Dr. Boom, as Chalky once said. And yes, he is trashed here. Trogzor. Um, Blinktron. Golden weapons, but they're kind of underpowered. Hemet. What a solid meme. Everything dies to Hemet. Random Secrets. Was okay. Not the worst. Archmate Benedictus was pretty alright in greed decks back in the day. We got Murabi. Absolute trash, but I beat Crip with it, so it can't be that bad. Lich King, God Tier Taunt. Really, really good. Just doesn't see a ton of play in Wild right now because it's 8 mana. Rot Face, terrible. Thrall, terrible. Lady Lillian Voss, terrible. Uh, we got Maev, or not Maev, we got the Rogue Death Knight. Not bad, but alright. Was Greed, wasn't amazing, did some good stuff. Deathstalker Rexar. For a period it was God Tier, now it's very good. We have Uther. He's alright. He did some good stuff. He could heal you. Anduin. God tier legendary. Absolutely good. Thrall? Okay, I'll put him I'll put him underpowered. Fine, he's not trash tier. Gul'dan. God tier death knight. How can you not go wrong with getting a million void lords? Malfurion. God tier death knight. Jaina. God tier death knight. They are just all insane. All saw some insane play. Crazy. Uh... One of the worst Death Knights, I'll put him there. I like the Garrosh Death Knight, but not very good. Hadronox was alright. Enabled a, quite a bit of good stuff. Syndragosa, alright. Saw so play because he could ping it and get water elementals. This card, Kibler tried to defend Sing. It was good. It's trash tier. Keliseth is a god tier legendary. Doesn't see much play, but my god, did it warp the meta. Prince Taladrum, not bad. He was alright. Enabled some stuff. Whatever. Prince Valinar, Pretty underpowered, but sub playing like, you know, certain Warlock decks. Arphis. It's a 4-mana 2-2. Two, two. Trash. Moros. It's a 3-mana 1-1. One, one. Trash. Curator. Did some cool stuff back in the day in, like, Dragon Pirate Warrior. Uh, Prince Malkazar. It enabled 35 legendary duels. It's alright. It's underpowered. It's terrible, but I'm putting it in there. Medivh. Was alright in, like, uh, Discover Mage, and I love that deck, so alright. Barnes. We used to be pretty god tier. Now he's just alright. He's pretty slow now. Kagdar, alright. Pretty good with Conj. Reno, god tier card. That's why you play Reno decks. Absolutely insane. Finley is another god tier card. Put it in a ton of aggro decks. Get life tap. Get steady shot. Solid. Elise, by today's age, underpowered. Used to be a pretty good card. Reform, trash tier. Uh, Rock Delar, um, underpowered but decent. Aleneth, Pretty much a god tier aggro mage card, but we'll put it on very good. Why are these not in the god tier? I didn't even realize. Let's bump them up. This tier list is getting way too big. I can't keep track. Then we got Sonya is now trash. Used to be really good, but nerfed to Oblivion. The dragon's weapon is terrible. Lynessa is alright in like certain uh, Librem Paladin decks. Ixalid, I'll go with underpowered because he... He got me ranked 2 legend in my quad Malagos deck. Marin the Fox. I'll give it uh, underpowered. It saw fringe play. And that fringe play was purple spamming it. But regardless, it saw play at Legend Ladder. It's got to be okay. Um, we got Grumble. He was alright. He enabled Shutterwalk but didn't really carry it. Uh, Warcleave, whatever. Cheat out Warrior cards. Awful. Twig was alright. Saw a lot of standard meta play. Uh, Rin was alright as well. Really greedy card in wild. Not good enough. Skull the Minari. Absolute god tier weapon. Still sees play today. Whatever this paladin weapon is. It was okay. Buffing your stuff. 
um the rune spear oh my god never katrina very good doesn't really see play in wild but it was insane and standard for most of its run once uh certain beasts were made zola very good uh enables a lot of different decks what the hell is this yip get the yip into the trash uh master okart saw its time in this in the sun but overall just an all right card uh the darkness good god no awana i think that's what it's called dragon caster all right saw playing like big spell mage temporis yeah if you want to lose you can play it uh togwoggle pretty cool combo card seen playing like priest warlock and druid pretty rad kingsbane would it be god tier but it's been nerfed a lot i'll give it a very good still to this day very strong weapon maxna not bad in bgs malganus is a god tier warlock legendary in my opinion to cheat him out pretty insane Alakir is all right. You can play him in certain like mid-range decks. Captain Greenskin, all right, buffing your weapons. Pirate, all of that. Millhouse, Lol, Deathwing, pretty uh, pretty whatever. It's been forever since he's been playable. Underpowered, Gruel, Lol, Hogger, Lol. Yashiraj is all right. Nothing crazy. Cheat him out. Do broken things. Uh, was that Fandral? Yeah. He, uh, he used to be alright, now he's just pointless. Zero. Understated, not good enough, but was pretty cool. Haha, <laughs> what the hell? Haha, <laughs> what the hell? Uh, Mukla, get, get some bananas. Pretty underpowered, but could do some okay stuff. Shifter Zeros, yeah. I mean, even a BGs, he's bad, so that tells you something. Uh, Twin Emperor Vecklor. Uh, Cthune's not any good anymore, but he was pretty insane. I'll give him an alright. Got Nizoth, is a god tier old god, still sees a lot of play, does a lot of crazy stuff. Really good card. Yogg, god tier memes, could do some god tier stuff. He still pops up here and there, and he's been unnerfed, so I'm giving him the god tier. We have Halzeel, underpowered, but could do some good stuff. Malkarok, or whatever, get a random weapon, underpowered, but at one point he was decent. Rag, Light Lord, I'm gonna give a good. He doesn't really see any play anymore, but I love this card. Really cool and decent. Cthun, probably the worst old god now. Power creeped out of oblivion. 10 mana 6-6. Six, six. Are you kidding me? Random damage don't do anything. Prince Ahurahan, or whatever it's called. Princess, I don't even know. Premium stats, upside, still not good enough. Um, why would you ever run a 6 mana 5-5 five, five that gives you 1-1s? One, Deathwing Dragonlord, pretty decent if you cheat it out. Get more dragons. Hogger. Both hoggers suck. Um, Nat. Oh my god. Even a Mildex. This is terrible. Sogoth. Have you seen the power creep lately? Uh, old Murkai. Pretty good in Murloc decks. We have Elite Chief Torn. Terrible. The Beast. Terrible. Boogie Monster. Arguably the worst card ever. Zul'jin. Very good. Uh, still see some play today. Zentimo was alright. Saw fringe play. Uh, Grifta, we're not cloudy around here, it's terrible. Hook Tusk was alright, saw some play in some Pirate Rogue decks. Gonk, underpowered, but solid meme. Why would you play a 4-mana 3-4 ton even if you get more of them? Hyreek, are you kidding me? This is just terrible. Uh, Blumsomdi saw a decent amount of play in Combo Priest, so we'll give it an alright. Shervala was very good for its time. We'll throw it in there. Combo Enabler, heal. This could cheat out Molten Giant, so we'll go with all right. Uh, you could get a free Ragnaros, but overall too slow, and back you got Hall of Fame. Hexlord Malacrass, super greed, but saw play, still sees play. Underpowered. Uh, Warmaster Voon, again, saw a bit of play, but too greedy, not good. The Rhino, garbage. Lodi was very good in Quest Druid, but that deck is kind of dead. Not good enough in Wild. Crag, underpowered, saw fringe play. Gruel the Shark, or whatever it's called. Terrible. 5-minute 2-2. Two -two. Yikes. Undertaker. Uh, Sub playing some fringe decks. Overall, not great. Same with Hakar. Fringe decks, but saw some decent stuff. I'll give uh, Undasta, or whatever it's called, uh, under uh, an alright. Could cheat out some big beasts. All of that. Mojo Master. Decent tech card. He was alright. We have... Like, the Lynx guy gives you a bunch of Lynxes. Pretty underpowered. Only really good in, like, Quest Hunter for, like, a heartbeat. Zephyrus, god-tier legendary. You're putting that in a very Highlander deck forever. 
Quest Druid. It was an alright archetype. Never super insane, but very good. Elise. Eh. I'll give it an underpowered. Even in a lot of the Quest Druid decks, you'd only run it in certain metas. Quest Warlock. I get. I thought this would be the worst card ever. Turns out it's alright. The, uh, the support is worked out in both standard and wild down the road same with quest hunter actually quest hunter is more underpowered it really saw fringe play for a brief period brand is very good in standard it's insane wild very good uh this card is just underpowered like it's just not good enough lackeys and warlocks it's not enough to run uh the vicina or whatever it's called the the overload guy for shaman very good card uh octasari fringe play but you never know when you need that draw just Aggro decks have all the draw. We have Siamat. Very good card. Very versatile. You can even play it in wild to an extent. You got Reno the Relicologist. Uh, I wouldn't go god, god tier on this, but it's very good Highlander Mage card. Uh, Armagadilla was pretty underpowered. Saw a tiny bit of play. Uh, this card, Amet, is actually insane, but not quite god tier right now. But very good in Priest. We have... The Anka thing, it sees some play in like Death Rattle, but yeah, meh, it's okay. Quest Shaman used to be broke back, now it's just alright. Used to be insane, now it's alright. King Pharos, saw Fringe play, I hate the card, I put a trash tier, but nah, it's not. Quest Rogue, the other Quest Rogue, Fringe play, but sees a tiny bit of play. Quest Paladin, yikes, I'm sorry, I know it saw play to Punish Control Warrior, but it's still trash tier, I don't give a shit. Same with this quest mage. Garbage. Finley's actually pretty mediocre, but when Highlander Paladin was okay, he was alright. The warrior quest. Trash tier. I know Fibonacci ran it. I don't care. It's trash. Colossus of the Moon is alright if you cheat it out. The priest quest is pretty garb, but we'll put it under power because people still refuse to not run it. Tarum is actually a god tier legendary. Doesn't see a lot of play now. But one of the most powerful legendaries ever made. We have Pyros. Is pretty underpowered. Every stat line sucked. 2 mana 2-2 two, two bad. 6 mana 6-6 six, six bad. 10 mana 10-10 ten, ten bad. But the value with lifesteal could be okay. Quest Mage. Do I need to say more? God tier. Ridiculously powerful. Sherazen. I love the card. But he's overpowered as hell. Or underpowered as hell. Caverns Below used to be god tier. Now it's underpowered and not nearly good enough. The old quest druid used to be pretty good. Now it's underpowered. Calagos or Calamos was okay, but pretty underpowered by today's standards. Lakari Sacrifice, 5 out of 5. Trash card. We have Clutch Mother whatever. It's an okay card in Disco Lock. Hemet enables some stupid stuff. He's alright. Vorax, have you ever seen that card played? Elise was pretty good. Decent greed card, especially back when Shadow Visions would cheat out a pack. Tarantus was a greed card you'd run once in a while. Spirit Singer Umbra, all right in some greedy Warlock decks. Ozruk, oh my god. Swap King Dread was underpowered but can do some anti-combo stuff. This card made Life Coach quit, but it was terrible. Trash. Swamp the Mosh guy, he was underpowered but can do okay stuff. The OG Quest Warrior, pretty good still. See some play, it's not the worst. Rag on the Sticks, not bad. Um, quest quest Priest is also alright. It still sees play in Wild. You have Quest pa Shaman. Underpowered, but people love their shamans, so yikes. Um, Last Kaleidosaur, or whatever it's called. Yeah, it made a song for Kibler, but I'm sorry. It's trash tier. Lyra, very good Priest Legendary. Power Crypt a little too hard now, but very good at the time. Hop me out fast when the Wild is open. Soon TM. The Amazing Reno is very good. He gives you a wipe, a free clear, and random. Then you have Granite Lackey Eric. He was okay in like Highlander Warrior, but overall pretty crap. General Sky Captain Crag, or whatever it's called. He's alright, good in some quest decks. And we have the Fist of Whatever for Shaman. Trash tier, and that's all of them. I try to do as fast as possible. That's a lot of cards. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to try and catch my breath. Have a great day. Stay salty, my friends.